الحمد لله الحمد لله وكفى والصلاة والسلام على عباده الذين اصطفى خصوصا على أفضلهم وخاتم النبيين محمد الأمين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد فقد قال الله تبارك وتعالى كما ورد في سورة هود عليه الصلاة والسلام أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وإلى عاد نخاهم هودا قال يا قوم اعبدوا الله ما لكم من إله غيره إن أنتم إلا مفترون يا قوم لا أسألكم عليه أجرا إن أجري إلا على الذي فترني وأفلا تعقلون صدق الله العظيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لقدة من لساني يفقه قولي اللهم ربنا ألهمنا رشدنا وعزنا من شرور أنفسنا اللهم أرنا الحق حقا وارزقنا اتباعه وارنا الباطل باطلا وارزقنا اجتنابه اللهم وفقنا لما تحب وترضى اللهم ربنا آنس وحشتنا في قبورنا وارحمنا بالقرآن العظيم اللهم اجعله لنا إماما ونورا وهدى ورحمة اللهم ذكرنا منه ما نسينا وعلمنا منه ما جهلنا وارزقنا تلاوته آنا الليل وأطراف النهار واجعله لنا حجة يا رب العالمين آمين I have told you that these two surahs, Surah Yunus and Surah Hud, alayhim as-salatu was salam, they are a pair to each other. And the relationship is of reciprocity, reciprocal relationship. That in Surah, Surah Yunus, we find only two sections about the Ambaur Rasul or the important news of the messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and their nations. Here, as a contrast, we find more than half of the surah that contains the, these, you know, Ambao Rasul. And we had two full sections discussing Hazrat Nuh alayhi salatu wa salam, which we discussed last night. Now, after the people of Nuh, the first nation which rose to prominence and power and splendor and glory among the Semitic nations was the nation of Ad. And the southern area, the broader area of the Arabian Peninsula was their land. And it was a very fertile land at that time. Shaddad, the famous name, was the name of a king. And it is also said it was the title of the kings of that nation, just as Pharaoh of Egypt and you know Namrud of, of the Chaldean Empire and so on in the same way it was a title or it was a name of a king Shaddad and now that city has been you know discovered by the satellite it is it lies buried deep under the desert and to the Ad we sent their own brother Hud he said the same thing, the same message. He said, oh my people, worship Allah alone. Ma lakum in You have no God except him. In antum illa muftarun. You are only forging the names of other deities or gods or goddesses. These are only names which you have invented, nothing else. Ya qawm illa asalakum alayhi ajra. The same thing, a very common feature about these prophets. They never demanded any, you know, remunerations or any salary or anything from their nations. I don't demand from you any recompense, any remuneration. In my reward rests only with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who created me. So don't you understand? And oh my people. Ask the forgiveness of Allah, your Lord. And then you turn towards him in repentance. He will send upon you plenty of rains. 
and he will add to your strength and power and glory which you already have wala tatawalla mujrimin but please don't turn your backs to what i'm saying and you will be guilty then qalu ya hudu ma jaitana bi bayyanatin the people said o oh, hud you have not brought us any clear miracle any clear proof wa ma nahnu bi tariqi alihatina an qawlika and we are not going to abandon our lords our gods our goddesses our deities only for your word only because of you are saying so an qawlika wa ma nahnu laka bi mu'minin and we are not going to believe in you in naqul illah taraka ba'du alihatina bi su what but we think is we don't think anything as else but that some of our gods or goddesses have seized you with some evil because you are repudiating them you say they don't exist they they have no reality so some of them you know has got offended upon you and and he has touched you and seized you with some evil qala inni ashhadu allah wa ashhadu wa ashhadu ash, ash, and he said i make allah witness and you also remain witness inni bari'um mimma tushriku i am quit i am free and i have no fear of those deities or goddesses whom they are making associates with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala min dunihi you know by, besides him faqiduni jami'an now you devise whatever you can devise all of you join together and whatever you can do against me go ahead so malatun zarun don't give me any respite inni tawakkaltu ala allah rabbi wa rabbikum i have all the trust and faith in allah who is my lord as well as your lord ma min dabbatin illa huwa akhadhu min asiyatiha there is no animal no living creature which is creeping on the earth but allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is holding it by the four lock by the hair of the forehead in rabbi ala sirat mustaqim now this the literal meaning would be my lord is on the straight path but what does it mean he has the straight dealing he deals with his creatures in a straight manner with justice and the other meaning can be he can be approached or pleased only by the straight and right path just as we see as we say you know such and such cities are on the highway in the rabbi ala sirat al mustaqim if you want to approach him if you want to come nearer and nearer to him then you have to take the straight path fa in tawalla faqad ablaghtukum ma ursiltum bihi ma ursiltu bihi ilaykum and if you turn away then i have conveyed to you what i was sent for you with wa yastakhlifu rabbi qauman and what i think is that you are going to be destroyed and after you my lord will bring another nation who will be successors in your place ghairakum another nation wala tazurunahu shay'an you will not be able to harm him anything in rabbi ala kulli shay'in hafiz definitely my lord is guardian over everything 